this hiatus to see you all again in the flesh outside of your Zoom boxes. Um, you all look much better in person. Uh, and we're so happy to be back. Uh, all our amazing guests, our speakers, our talent, and even my beautiful wife, Sylvia Martinez, who's back. Yes, after the early MMFMs with three kids, she's back to business as well. So we're just happy that everybody's back and part of the family again. And so let's get started with, we have, we still have the intro, what's this Brazilian stuff? Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, and shout out to Ines for assisting us. Yes, 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 yes. She'll be helping to present some of these lovely awards, the Golden Orange Awards, which is our signature awards. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we call it uh, lovingly the Golden Globes with a better tan. Uh, and we're, we're squeezing every last ounce out of that. I got a couple more laughs this time, but I appreciate your understanding of it. Yes. Uh, and, and again, you know, this, this whole conference is a labor of love and it's something that we do from the heart to really help our community as well as, you know, uh, create new friends and partnerships from literally all over the world. Uh, and it's not a lot of people, but they're people of value and they're people of uh, really good instincts and, and just morals and, and they have a compass for what's next and really uh, sort of on the edge of everything that's going on in our industry. And we're so happy for all of your support, no matter where you're from. Uh, so thank you all again for participating and joining us. And of course, I would be remiss not to mention our amazing sponsors uh, that make all of this possible, including, of course, Miami-Dade County. Shout out to the county. Of course, none of this would be possible without the great Camagol. And our amazing president, Mr. Joe Chi, who's in the house as well. I don't make political speeches, but he's the best president we've ever had. I'm just going to throw that out there. He's, he's also a tocayo, by the way. He's a Jose Luis. Uh, we call him Joe Chi. Uh, and, and of course, you know, I'd be remiss not to mention uh, the amazing partner, co-founder, Patty Arias. Uh, executive that makes all of this work uh, in every facet of the game that is the film and media industry. Uh, so I, I really think that it's time to just kind of go through and start these awards and just the, the spirit behind the Golden Arms is just really just to kind of recognize uh, some of our uh, industry speakers who have generated or, or donated so much of their time and talents to the conference uh, because it's really at the heart of what we do is the folks that come here and that are, you know, willing, despite their busy schedules, uh, as you know, you know, the production game is a global one, and they could be anywhere in the world doing so many things, but they, you know, they decided and chose to spend these few days with us, and we're so appreciative of that, because it really is, uh, you know, we're in the information age, and the information they provide is so critical to everything that we do, and it's really the heart blood of the MMFM, so thank you to all our speakers who have generated your, your time. <laughs> and we want to talk about new friends and new partners, so if I can have Patty and Mr. Joe Chi come to the stage, we're going to present our uh, first award of the evening. Before I do that, I want to mention the rest of our amazing sponsors because NBC Universal has really stepped up this year. So a big thank you to NBC Universal, the Miami Greater Convention of Visitors. Beautiful, beautiful. You all just came up with their campaign. The city beautiful. That's Coral Gables, right? <laughs> the GMCBB, uh, of course, Bar News Barleta, who created the website, so you can see everything that's going on. Uh, yes. Film London, thank you guys as well. Film of Great Britain, and of course, Seranos. Correct me if I'm wrong, but El Gusto Nuestro. Did I get it right? You got it perfect. Yes. The taste is ours, is that? The taste is ours. <laughs> uh, TGF Pictures uh, was doing some amazing work in the production company here. 
been doing some amazing things. Uh, of course, our good friends Prashant and Emily and, and Emily and Elizabeth for Dharma Jin. I am only sipping Dharma Jin this evening, so thank you so much, Mr. Prashant. Three cheers to you, my friend. We're also our chairman of Ernest. And of course, Find Your Muse Entertainment and Mr. John Macho. Thank you for yeah. that. So this first award this evening goes to uh, a really dynamic lady uh, from across the pond who just kind of serendipitously sprung into our lives about a year ago uh, and has done so many amazing things to kind of help spearhead uh, so many initiatives with Spain, which I think we've been trying to do for a lot of years, but really with this new partnership has really formed uh, a really important part of the MMFM family. Uh, she is a, a partner at Anderson, head of culture, sports, and entertainment. She is also a European leader of Anderson's media team. She has a degree in law, a master's in business, a uh, master's in tax advice. She's a master of masters, let me just leave it at that. Uh, she's very specialized in advising companies in the audiovisual sector, cinema, theater, live shows. Uh, she's involved from production to financing. She should be a studio mogul by now, but she's doing great work. Uh, and so on behalf of myself, Patty Arias, and Joe Chi, we want to present the first Golden Orange to Patricia Modilla. Amazing event, and thank you very much for the for the awards. Uh, I would like to say just a few minutes of uh, some words. Um, two years ago, a mutual friend introduced me to Patty Arias, and immediately she caught my attention because her energy and professionalism. We had never met before. Uh, we were more than seven thousand kilometers far from each other. Uh, with a bond <laughs> between us and the uh, six hour time of time difference and a pandemic. And we decide to have regular meetings online. Two years later, our meetings are never ending. Uh, we organized uh, last, on 20, uh, on, on, was on March 2021, yeah. 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 we organized uh, an international uh, webinar between American and, um, and Spanish producer. Last November, a delegation of Miami and UK came to Madrid and they visited uh, one of our best clients, the site film Sequoia. And um, we had talks with the Spanish uh, producers at Madrid office. And today, in my second time in Miami, talking about the relationship. And this time between Americans, producers and Spanish. And this time I came accompanying one of our best clients and uh, the biggest group of production in Spain, that is uh, Grupo IFE, represented by Sara Velasco. Thank you, Sara. with uh, uh, the best representation of the audiovisual industry in Spain, that is the Spain Film Commission with Teresa Azcona. <laughs> this work wouldn't have been possible without the team working, so I would like to share this award with Panty Arias. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. Another round for Patricia Motilla. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you both for being a part of this ceremony. Um, we've been through a lot, and we're still here, and we're going to move through this uh, now for for the thank you and for the for the next award. Uh, I want to welcome down my uh, my partner at Screen Heat Miami, uh, which is the official podcast of the Miami Media and Film Market. So, Kevin, if you are here, my friend, come on down. Whoa! The co-host with the most. By the way, shameless plug, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and SoundCloud. So, uh, I want you to go ahead and, uh, Mr. Sharpley, just take the stage and... Uh, just kind of give a nice introduction to our next, no, our next golden orange recipient. Okay, so this one is very special to me because I actually reached out to her and invited her because she's a Miami native. Yeah. yeah. And that's very important to us. You know, it really is. I mean, look, this has been birthed 12 years ago by Pat Marius. <laughs> and JL Martinez. And look, this is a Miami institution at this point, 12 years, it's an institution. So I'd love to welcome my friend, Arlene Brochet. Now she wears many hats, but I can tell you this, she is a dynamic actor, and that's where I first met her. And she plays the wife of one of my favorite, favorite, favorite actors and personalities, The Rock, on his show, Young Rock, Danny Garcia. And I'm very, very proud that she is getting this golden orange. Well deserved. Absolutely, man. We gave a great chat yesterday, too. So, again, thank you as one of our signature speakers to really lend your time and talent to the conference and really just give uh, a level of perspective and advice to everyone. Thank you, Arlen. All right, so first of all, I want to say, um, Kevin, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. JL, thank you for the interview yesterday and the opportunity to talk to everyone here and anybody that can benefit from anything that I said and meeting all you lovely people. Um, it's really an honor to be in the presence of people that are industry professionals and, and that are just doing big things. Okay, and I, I, I am so grateful to the MMFM, MMFM, am I saying it right? <laughs> the MMFM family for, for having me here and um, I'm grateful for my family, their unwavering support and, and this is only the beginning. I feel like, for all of us, I, I feel like, you know, God has put so many opportunities in our lives and in my life, and I'm grateful for the people and the opportunities that are to come. So, God bless, and, and I hope to see all of you in the future again. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Arlen. You can catch Young Rock on Peacock, uh, which is the NBC streamer, a good plugger, uh, season two, and you'll be seeing a lot more of Arlen on that show, and I'm sure many, many more. All right, so award number three. Oh, Jesus. I think I just gave it away. Okay. Um, this gentleman is a, uh, a filmmaker. He's a producer. He's a director. He's a writer. Uh, he's been involved in the film and television industry for over 20 years. He began his career working on hit films such as Marley and Me, Miami Vice at a time. Uh, he's won several film festival awards, including Best Film, Best Directing, Best Screenplay, uh, for his feature film, Marcus, which derived from his also award-winning short film of the same name. Uh, the film is set to be released. You gotta update your bio, bro. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm his producer as well, so I can say that kind of stuff. stuff. Uh, and this is a, a guy which obviously I, I don't need talking voice tonight. You know, he's been a friend of mine, a very good friend for a very long time, uh, a creative collaborator, a partner, a member of the family, essentially. And you know, as he said uh, so eloquently on the panel today, if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't even be in show business. So. <laughs> 
maybe I should get the award. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, he's a very talented filmmaker. He's from the city of progress, from Hialeah. He's from our homegrown talents. Marcus is just a spectacular journey into the mind and soul and deals with such important issues, particularly mental health. Uh, the film is available across all VOD platforms, including uh, everything from YouTube to um, Amazon. Amazon Prime, Amazon. Apple TV, uh, and pretty much everywhere else uh, that streaming movies are sold and rented. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a producer and I may benefit uh, from that transaction, <laughs> but... <laughs> From an artistic point of view, it is a great film. It's worth seeing. It was shot over 90% in Miami-Dade County, which is an achievement of itself. Uh, from the city of Miami and the beautiful Alfred DuPont building to Doral, and of course, the great city of Hialeah, a city that keeps on giving. So let's welcome to the stage, Mr. J.R. Poli. So, uh, my two-year-old's gonna try to eat this daily. To put it up high. <laughs> so, I gotta thank Patty, I gotta thank Joe, I gotta thank J.O. Obviously, I've been here since year number one. This is year number 12. Uh, I've said this before, and this is next year's panel, so now you owe me something. And we talked about this, J.M., right? What did you call it? From the peanut gallery to the panel. From the peanut gallery to the panel, because I sat out there and I took notes for year after year after year, and I just... You know, one day I said, yeah, I'm going to make my own film, and then a couple years later I was on panels, which is crazy. So I went from there to here, um, and I got to tell you, first of all, this bio is perfectly up to date when I said it to you. The film just came out last week, and I didn't, you know, I didn't know that this was going to be the week after, honestly. So yeah, you can't see it on, on uh, Google Play and iTunes and, and all that, but everybody always asks me about Florida film and how it's doing, and they're thinking, you know, People are moving, they're going to Georgia, they're going all that, and it's like the stocks. I always say it's like stocks. Do you buy low or do you buy high, right? And in this case, we're at a low, but it's time to start buying because what do they say? It's gonna to go to the moon, right? Florida's about to blow up, this is obviously the evidence of it, right? So start buying little stocks now because Florida's about to blow up. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Again, Marcus is available wherever fine movies are streamed, so just a reminder. I'll leave a positive review. Yes. <laughs> Maybe there's a free drink for everybody that downloads the movie, like, right now. Just whip out your cell phones and just buy our movie. It would be great. Uh, okay, so the next award uh, is a very exciting award and something that uh, was, again, you know, brought to us by one of our great committee members, and is, is Maritz Plenby in the house. He had to go. So thank you to committee member uh, Moritz Plenby for introducing us to this uh, uh, fine gentleman who will be receiving the next award. Uh, and so all I can say is that, you know, this is someone, again, that came into uh, the MMFM family uh, very recently. He is a, an extremely accomplished uh, music uh, composer and producer. This gentleman has a combined 11 Grammy and Latin Grammy awards. 41 nominations, including four for Producer of the Year, 15 Billboard chart-topping songs, and more than 10 ASCAP awards. Uh, and, and now he's about to add the Golden Orange, so that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I want to welcome uh, a very, very talented uh, uh, music person. That it, He is Colombian, but he has brought his talents, uh, as LeBron said, to South Beach. Uh, technically, it's a Coral Way, but it's close enough. Uh, and he has an amazing music studio, and I have to say, this is important, Julio, he has an academy that trains young musicians, uh, and, and it's, it's such an amazing institution. Uh, to really make, not only no, it's true, because this is a guy that could be doing his professional work years on end, but he's really taking the time to, to train these young uh, musicians and technicians and bringing up the next generation, and that's so much needed in our community. Julio Reyes, welcome to the stage. Thank you. 
Eagle? Awesome. Yes. Our glamour shot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rosalou. Thank you, really. Uh, I'm so, so glad this is happening here in Miami. Uh, I think this scenery is so much needed. It's a privilege to be in a city where everything needs to be done. So I'm glad. <laughs> yes. I'm glad that, that we are part of this, and it, this is a great inspiration for me and for all the young generations that are that wants to do something out of out of Miami. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For you. Okay, moving right along, uh, our next award is uh, really, you know, something that's become sort of a signature part of MMFM over the past few years, which is to highlight some of the best uh, production and below-the-line artists in the industry. Uh, so often at these conferences, these individuals are, are overlooked because you just make the assumption that these movies happen because of a deal and a handshake, but there's so much more work that goes into each and every production. Uh, hundreds of folks that are involved uh, from everything from the design of the show to the costumes to all the visual effects to the editing to the production design and I'm kind of giving it away uh, but this gentleman uh, who has been uh, an amazing production designer for so so many years uh, a gentleman who is has worked in everything from New York theater to uh, three-time Oscar winning movies uh, to incredible television series, including one that was a game changer for South Florida uh, called Bloodline, uh, which was just a phenomenal show and an incredible design from top to bottom, just a, a masterfully executed uh, piece of content that, that we just, you know, we loved on here. It's close to our heart. And now he's working on another Miami show, and he was kind enough, in the middle of production, by the way, to take some time and come here and talk to us and then spend some time with our high school students as well uh, to give them some advice on how to break into the, the business. Um, he, is, he is a client of one of my good friends and mentors, uh, Craig Bernstein out in LA, who couldn't be with us this year, but uh, he's out riding roller coasters with his son and I see it all on Instagram and it's really fun. Uh, we're gonna do that on Monday with our kids. We're gonna go ride roller coasters all over the Midwest, but anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, this gentleman is extraordinarily talented, very gifted, and gave a spectacular masterclass in production design. Mr. Tim Galvin, come on down. to me. I, I've come back you know, over the years several times. The first uh, uh, picture I designed was uh, 27 years ago or whatever here uh, called The Spanish Prisoner and we shot down in Ida Morada then. And that was, you know, uh, things were different then. But it, it keeps coming back. I went to school up at Rollins in uh, Winter Park. And it's just been a little part of my life, so it's nice to kind of have a little piece to put on the shelf here. There you go. <laughs> Thanks a lot for this. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. All righty. We're, we're plugging away. I'm trying to make our time schedule here. I think I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully I'm doing better than the Oscars. They always run late, but um, anyway. Yes. All right, let's keep moving along. Uh, oh, this, this award's fun. Okay, so this next gentleman, uh, who is a, an extraordinarily uh, talented uh, television director uh, who, spoke, who spoke earlier today, uh, he is a director, producer, writer, a multi-genre veteran of drama, action, horror, sci-fi, comedy, family, and rom-com. I got it in. Uh, he has directed over 115 hours of television, written a handful of teleplays, Produced several TV series and films, and has directed nearly nine. Well, not nearly. I guess you either direct a film or you don't, right? So uh, that was my bad. Nine feature films and TV movies so far. Uh, some of the work that you may recognize is the Paramount Plus series Star Trek: Picard, 
Uh, he also did the CW's reboot of Kung Fu. Uh, he also worked on the Dust Till Dawn series with legendary director Robert Rodriguez, among many, many other things. But the most important part of this is that, much like JR, he's also from Hialeah, baby. Yeah. Raised in the city of progress. Uh, originally from New York, but, you know, went down to, I guess, what they call the, the, the fifth borough uh, in Miami-Dade County. So I want to welcome Mr. Joe Menendez to the stage. Thank you. This is very flattering. Thank you very, very much. Um, this has been really, really terrific. Um, I love to come down and, and speak and do all this stuff because I was once, like you said, a highly a kid that was wondering how am I going to ever get into Hollywood and become a director. How, there was a time that I was like, seems impossible, but I'm going to do it. Uh, what's thrilling is after 30 years in LA, as I said earlier, that I'm back here, I've come back home. And to receive this in the same year that I've come back home is, is really, really great and really, really flattering. So, and as somebody else said here earlier, I think South Florida, I think it was you, I think, uh, anyway, I think South Florida really is gonna blow up. I think, I think, I think we are in a, in a sort of moment where things are gonna blow up. I personally want a few things here. Uh, yes. I don't want to, I'm going to Vancouver tomorrow to keep working on Kung Fu. I'd rather stay here and sleep in my own bed. So <laughs> to me, uh, I love Miami, I love growing up here. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you all. Seriously appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, welcome home, Joe. All right. So uh, I will require a bit of assistance for this next one. So I'd like to welcome Patty and Joe Chi back to the stage for our next Golden Orange presentation. Shout out again to Dharma Jen, three cheers for them. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is a very important and very special award, and, and again, another one that's uh, very close to our hearts because of the, the longtime partnership, collaboration, and most importantly, friendship of this particular gentleman. Uh, he is the Chief Executive of Film London and the British Film Commission. Uh, he's a bro program advisor to the BFI London Film Festival, Venice Film Festival, and Noir Film uh, Infest in Milan and the founding director of Shots in the Dark in Nottingham. Uh, he also received an honorary doctorate in the arts and was appointed visiting professor of film and media at Norwich University of the Arts. Also received an honorary doctorate of letters from the University of East Anglia and was awarded an OBE, Order of the British Empire. I think I got that right, yes. Uh, for his services to film. Most re recently, he has led the BFC's work to develop a COVID-19 production guidance for film and high-end TV drama as part of the BFI's wider COVID-19 screen sector recovery task force. And he's a hell of a lecturer and a panelist and just, you know, just really, really one of the true champions, not only of the British film industry, but of film in general because of his heart his passion and his energy is just infectious, and we would we would love to just catch a little bit of, of his star that's just rising all over the world and, and sprinkle some of his pixie dust on Miami. Uh, so please welcome to the stage Mr. Adrian Wood. And, and, and well, thank you so much, JL. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody uh, here um, at, at the market. I mean, uh, obviously, 
we've been involved now, uh, Helen and I and my, my friends Film London, our colleagues in Film London and the British Film Commission now for a number of years here. Uh, it's so glad to be back here, so glad to be working again in partnership with you. Um, if, if, if this award is, is, is really owed to anybody, it's, it's owed to the whole Film London British Film Commission team that helped me uh, work with you uh, and, and in that partnership. And, and uh, so this is, this is for them as much as it is um, for me. It's always a terrific pleasure, and it's a great pleasure after three years to be back here, but also to, to see all the audience back and to see all the, the delegates, all these fantastic speakers that you corral together. Uh, our friends like, uh, like Brenda, the, the wonderful people from Spain, the Spanish Film Commission, uh, all, all the, you know, it's great to have our animation delegates, our friends here, and people like Drew as well. And, and you know, it's just wonderful to be partners but real friends and collaborators and really feel that you've you've created this space which is a genuinely international creative space where we can come we can collaborate we can talk to you we can share we can exchange and we can build things together so thank you so much for your partnership your friendship and i love all you guys Alrighty, so if you guys want to hang out here, uh, we're going to present another Golden Orange Award, and uh, things are rolling right along, and this one is, is also, uh, they're all very special, very unique, and this is another uh, relationship that was forged uh, over the past year or so, uh, thanks to our good friends at Film London, and I would be remiss not to mention, as you mentioned, Adrian, your, your amazing team, including Eleanor McKenzie, who's yes. here with us this evening. Yay! And your wonderful animation consultant, Mr. Julian Scott. And so, Let's talk about this particular individual who has accomplished so much and so once again someone who we're so delighted that is willing to share her time and talent uh, with our conference and with our partners and with our delegates uh, and it's been really great to get to know this individual who is the president of the Braun Media Corp, uh, a company that she co-founded and leads with her husband Aaron L. Gilbert. Uh, Braun Media Corp is the parent company to Braun Studios, Braun Releasing, Braun Digital, and Braun Ventures, which also holds an interest in a portfolio of 10 content companies. Uh, the Braun group of companies are industry leaders in production, finance, and sales, and marketing of films, television series, and animation. How did you have time to be here? I don't even get that. Uh, not, <laughs> she's working, yeah. She's just like, <laughs> Uh, you know, this this is a a, a, a firm that you know is only ten years old, right? It's like it's not, 12. It, yeah, twelve years old now. Counting. Yeah, just like MMFM. I just can remember MMFM, and I got you. And this is a a, a, a company that has been behind, behind more than a hundred productions and has been a part of thirty two Academy Award nominations and six <laughs> Academy Awards. Yes. Yeah. Just these little films like Fences, Joker, Bombshell, Roman J. Israel, Judas and the Black Messiah. Uh, I, I could go on and on, and she's become a, a good friend uh, of ours as well. And she's just, you know, so heartfelt in everything she says and does. And again, we're so honored to have you be part of the MMFM family, Brenda Gilbert. Thank you so much. Um, 
like uh, Adrian and JL said before, is that we have this relationship with Film London, and it was because of an email from Helena McKenzie introducing me to JL that I'm actually here. Yep. All right, so thank yep. you, Helena, for making that introduction. You can wave to everybody. Uh, <laughs> it's me again. Um, uh, but seriously, is that it, um, you know, Braun Studios started in my home. And um, I want to thank my husband, who's my fellow co-founder, um, and couldn't be here unfortunately today, and also my children. Um, they are my rock. They have so much patience and understanding, and, um, and also now my MMFM family. You know, yeah. Patty told me the welcome to familia over here. Um, and I don't speak Spanish, but apparently I can fake it really well. <laughs> but it, one of the things why I wanted to like really be part of this festival is because of community. Um, community is unity and unity is community, as I said on my panel yesterday. And you can approach people here. People are personable. There's no arrogance, there's no you know, pretenses and things like that. You really can network here, you know, and, 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 and they're just a step away. I've never had anybody take care of me in the way that the MMFM family has, making sure my hotel room is okay, I got to the hotel okay, multiple emails making sure I'm hydrated. Um, <laughs> that's Inez today, actually, and I wasn't even on a panel. I was watching the panel. So um, it's just very, very important to really support organizations, festivals like this, because it starts with one and it blossoms out to others. And we lead by example, by the way, of everybody that's here, including Mr. Joji. Um, and also, you know, get, you know, going back to family with Prashant, Elizabeth, and Emily, is that you bring your family here. So I'm going to end with this note. Um, thank you also to our Braun crew that works really well with us and really, really hard and our producing partners. But my note is this, is I didn't know that my company would be part of nominations. I didn't know that my company was going to be part of multiple productions. I never knew that I would be standing on this stage. And so my um, guiding principles are the five Ps. One is follow your passion. You have to be excited about what you do and follow through with it. Number two is purpose. What am I doing? Am I doing this for me? Am I doing it for an audience? Who am I doing it for? And having patience and perseverance. Anybody in the entertainment industry realizes how much work it really, really entails. And the fifth P is poise. Never, ever lose your confidence for what you believe in. Thank you. Well said. Alrighty, guys, we're almost there. Yes. You want to do that? Yeah. Me? You, me? Wait. I want to recognize JL, okay? All right. We make a really good team, and this would not be possible without. JL. So I just want to say that JL rocks. Thank you very much. Okay? Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. Okay, now take it away. All right. Aquí vamos. We're almost there. The home stretch. Okay, the MMFM Hall of Believers. Uh, we're going to give some shout outs and awards and presentations to some of the folks that help us uh, not only uh, because of their presence, time, and talent, but really throughout the year and helping uh, in every capacity to make this event and conference possible for all of you. Uh, this first award goes to someone who is on call all hours and has always been there for us uh, spiritually and technically. He's uh, an MMFM guru in every sense of the word. Uh, when we had to do our conference for obvious reasons virtually last year, um, he was able to help us pivot quickly from a live event to a hybrid virtual event, uh, virtual event uh, following us around, making sure the event got out without a hitch, and it did. Uh, he has always been a great believer of our mission and has really never let us down. Um, and is a speed zoomer and someone that knows how to download things with a quickness. Uh, Jay Abbott, come on down. Yay! 
<laughs> Thanks for your help, brother. A star. All right. All right. I'm an outsider. There you go. I'm in technology, 30 years plus, but I'm impressed because what I see you do. Speaking of technology, use the microphone. <laughs> I like low tech. I'm ditching my phone in three years. Uh. Early retirement. But long short, you guys have a mission. And you have the information, you have the technology, and I see you using it every day. And I see you taking it places that Miami is the right place to take it and to bring it to the world. And with that, you have the passion, thank you, Brenda, the patience, perseverance, personality, and most of all, I think the intelligence to make an informed world that is going to be a better place for all of us. And if Miami can do no better than you all, then I really appreciate being a part of it. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Amazing. All right, Patty, come and stand next to me for this next one, if you don't mind. Uh, so this is someone we'd like to recognize, someone who's really believed in this industry and in Florida for decades. Uh, you know, he's led the first and only delegation to a co-production market in Brazil. Uh, in Tallahassee, when they said no, he said yes. Sounds like a producer to me. Uh, he has been with us since the inception, guiding each and every one of us. His wisdom, his kindness, his generosity knows no bounds. He's been a longtime sponsor, supporter, partner, uh, and really the guiding light of uh, our chief executive, Miss Patty Arias. Uh, so thank you for all your friendship, partnership, sponsorship, support, and making helping to make this happen. John Macho, come on up. Yeah! Son of a drones by life, which is bad. I, I had my friend in life not many years ago, so now she's the inspiration of my life, and as you can see, the inspiration for most of you to, to come back every year and do this again and again, even through hard times that we had two years ago. So I love you guys and love my British contagions, my Spanish contagions, and everybody here. You're part of my heart. That's why I'm here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. All right. So this this is the the last golden orange of the evening, and I will turn it over to Patty Harris. Um. JL and I would like to uh, present this award because for 12 years, um, when nobody believed in us, when we lost our funding, when we had to get funding again and again and again, and we didn't know how we were going to pay for things, but we kept going. He wasn't uh, in his capacity that he is right now. He was just, he was on the board of, of Chemical, and he always told me, Patty, never lose faith. When sometimes he'd come into my office and he'd go, why are you crying? And i go, I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Jail and I were really struggling, but he always believed in us. He always came through. He is now the president of Chemical, and he continues to believe in us. My friend and the president of Chemical and my brother, Jochi. <laughs> Really, uh, Patty, uh, 
You almost made me cry. One of the reasons why not only do I work hard with MFM, but I also work hard with Camacol. Camacol, which is La Cámara Convencio Latina de los Estados Unidos, Latin Chambers of Commerce of the United States, is an organization which has grown specifically quite a bit during the pandemic. We went from an organization of approximately 30 chamber alliances into an organization emerging from the pandemic with 300 Woo. chamber alliances. Even during the pandemic, because I was very worried about what was happening in the world. And nowadays you can see with the situation in Eastern Europe, with the attack of Russia, the unjustified attack of Russia on Ukraine. I have, I have a friend in Ukraine, I actually led two missions from Kamakol over to Poland and over to Ukraine. I made some very good friends over there. One of my friends was actually someone who struck my heart because not only was he a business person, but every two, three weeks, he would actually take some of his trucks, fill it up with provisions, and go to the border. Because at that time, Russia had already started attacking Ukraine at a lower level, but still attacking Ukraine. When the invasion of Russia started in Ukraine a few months ago, I texted him because I was really worried about my friend. He never answered me. And for months, I never got a reply from him. I thought that he was a victim of the war. However, a few days ago, I got a message by text, and he, Andre, his name is, and he said, Joe, I'm fine, and I was really relieved. And he told me at that time that he was working very hard on the war efforts, especially helping with the provision part of moving grain and moving corn and wheat out of Ukraine through Poland because, of course, as you probably all know, world peace. World peace because this is really the ultimate inheritance that we can give our generations and our next generations to come. So thank you all very much. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Thank you all my friends from Spain. Patricia Motilla, eh, Sara Fernandez, eh, Teresa Ascona, our friends from Great Britain, my good friend Adrian Wooten, uh, Helena, uh, Drew, new friend, and of course uh, Stuart, McKin Stuart McKinnon, right there. Okay. Who actually produced one of my favorite all-time television series. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Good, show. good show. All right. So yeah, this is MMFM 12, and we got back to business. Uh, before we go, I just wanted to thank a few more people. Our, our steering committee, I think it's important to say thank you to all the folks who helped make this happen, including our new chair, Kevin Sharpley. Thank you again, Kevin, for all your work. J.M. Garcia, Marco Giron, uh, Dean Lyon, who's in Atlanta shooting an Apple TV series, uh, Morris Plenby, and of course our past chair, Sandy Leiterman. So thank you all for your support. Thank you to our, our staff as well, you know, for everyone from uh, Joe Chi to Italo Torrese, Fausto Alvarez, Jorge Zumeta, uh, Commissioner Willie Gort, uh, and of course, uh, our assistant Ines, who did a fabulous job. Uh, uh, and our account manager, 
Rafi Fagundo, who makes sure all the bills are paid, uh, which is very important. And that's why the lights are still on, so that's great. And, and of course, you know, everyone who's been a part of this organization, but especially, I, I want to thank my wife, Sylvia Martinez, who for the past <clears throat> 10 years of marriage now in August has really held down the fort, taking care of our three beautiful children. Without you, I couldn't be here, uh, and I wouldn't want to be here. Thank you, Amor Mio. I love you. Of course, to all our amazing delegates, participants, and speakers, we did it. We got back to the business. This is MMFM 12. Yes. So let's celebrate. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you very much.